We have now come to the end of the module. In this video, I want to look back at what we have done, discuss where it fits into the field of control systems, and discuss the road ahead. For the control systems modules you have done so far, we have looked at techniques to control linear time invariant plants. These plants exist in the continuous time domain and have a single input and single output as shown in green. The goal is to control the plant such that its output closely follows the given reference input. There are two main paradigms in control systems that are used to model, analyze and control these plants. The first control systems paradigm is classical control, where the plant dynamics is described as a transfer function in the Laplace domain. In the previous module, Control Systems 314, you would have used the controller configuration shown here in red, and the goal was to design a controller as a transfer function in the Laplace domain. However, such a controller cannot be implemented in a digital processor, so we revisited classical control in this module, but now with the goal of designing a digital controller as a transfer function in the Z domain. We looked at two design approaches, designed by emulation, where we first design a continuous time controller and then discretize the controller, and direct digital design, where we first discretize the plant model and then directly design a digital controller in the Z domain. The second control system's paradigm is state variable control, also called state space or modern control. In this paradigm, the plant dynamics is described as two vector equations in the time domain. The topic of the first part of this module was to model and analyze plants in this way and then design a continuous time compensator to control the plant as a set of vector equations in the time domain. We considered two compensator configurations, one with an observer, state feedback and reference feed forward, and another with an observer, proportional state feedback and incorporating the reference output via integral control. However, such a compensator can also not be implemented in a digital processor. For this reason, the first part of the next control systems module, Control Systems 414, will revisit state variable control but look at the design of compensators in the discrete time domain. The second part of Control Systems 414 will then look at modeling and controlling nonlinear plants. At this point, you have the knowledge you need to design and implement a classical controller to control a single input, single output, linear time invariant plant. You are also well on your way to knowing how to do the same for a state variable compensator. You also have the fundamental knowledge that would enable you to master more sophisticated modeling, analysis and controller design techniques.